So here's the mosque in Indian village right here. The entrance is probably around the corner. Hi, I'm Fernanda. If this is your first time here, James and I travel to different states to take you to the attractions, resorts, and restaurants. Subscribe if you like to see our next video and leave a comment if you get if you got value out on this video. So we are entering right here. And we got signs all around. Explain what all these things are. It's the work shelter. The structure was provided as an area used for the production of tools and prominently made from stone, bone, shells, and wood. So, you see skeleton remains. Over here is the longhouse in the eastern Suin culture. Longhouse structures were used for ceremonies and meetings. The house was large enough to allow participants from all four clans to gather. The clans were bird, bear, wolf, and turtle, and each clan was assigned their own section of the house. So let's see if we can get a look inside here. Moving on to this area right here. You can see a lot of the skins of animals. This is a raccoon right here. Jewelry that was made. This is the um, trade area. By the latter part of the 17th century, trading posts were established on the Virginia frontier. This was the beginning of deer skin and beaver pelt trade, as you can see. There's the jewelry right there. It's part of the meeting house right here. This is the communal cooking area. Okay, this shared cooking responsibility will allow the woman to maximize, mag, 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 maximize their, t their time. Outdoor kitchens provide space for a variety of cooking techniques such as grilling or smoking on racks, boiling or stewing, and clay pots and frying the flat stone. So this is it right here. We'll walk around on this. You can see the stones right there. Some of the vegetables in these baskets. Over here is the uh, work shelter. Now this structure provides protection from the elements. Activities related to the structure. So here we have the mat weaving loom. This type of loom was used for the construction of mats. The rocks held the cordage and when passed back and forth, clinched their cattail in place and acts as a counterweight during the weaving process. So this is a single family dwelling right here. You can see the beds. It's kind of dark, but they're over there. And over here, there's no bed. A little fire over there to keep warm. Some baskets up there. It's kind of dark to see. So this is the high tannin area. The animal skins were processed for using clothing, blankets, and tray. The primary method of tannin was using the animal's brains to soften the hide. So here's the um, outdoor garden. You can see these sunflowers and vegetables grown in here. Some pumpkin plants right here. Beans. I do like that flower. Uh, 
more squash could be a different variety. I'm not sure what this stuff here is. It seems that the, the land, the dirt here is not very good, but they, they add to it, they fertilize it.